What's going on everybody? This is Lag on Lock here and welcome to our first game of the BYU Cougars Dynasty here on NCAA 07 for the PSP. So mentioned in the first video we did have a bye week in week one. So week two we are playing the Arizona Wildcats. So this should be an exciting game because they are ranked number 68 in the nation. I'll see you guys out there on the field. So here we go guys, we're out in beautiful Tucson, Arizona to start off this game against the Arizona Wildcats. Now they do have an impact quarterback by the name of Wilson. Let's see what he does on his first play. Play action. Throws it to Schultz, and Schultz cannot make the catch, but you have two players guarding Schultz, so I don't know why they threw it out there to him. It's gonna be second and 10. Wilson hands it off to Horn, and Horn gets brought down by John Joyce, our impact player on defense. Third and five. Wilson hands it off to Horn. And he gets brought down. Did he get the first down? Let's check and see. No, they're going to say it's fourth and inches on that play. Good job for our defense to start off this game. Good job. Now it's going to be our offensive, offense turn. Excuse me. We have Dallas Johnson at quarterback. He is our impact player. And we do have Zach Bonet, our tight end. Now, Zach Bonet is our best player on our team. He has a 94 overall. So now it's going to be second and 10. Dallas Johnson's going to roll out to the left. He's going to scramble, and he gets a good game right there. And it's going to be first and 10 at the 34 for BYU. Johnson's going to go up the option play this time. Good blocking up front. And Johnson's going to get another first down. Is he a running back? <laughs> first and 10. Dallas Johnson steps back, rolls to the left. He sees Gabe Thomas open. Thomas makes the catch. And he gets brought down inside the goal line. It's going to be first and goal at the eight. Johnson hands it off to Sesson. And he's going to get in for a touchdown. Good job for our running back right there. Eight-yard touchdown run. And we made quick work of Arizona, man. Their defense isn't that good. Because <laughs> look at that. He just barely touched them. So now it's going to be first and ten for the Arizona Wildcats. Play action, throws it, and Sims has it. I missed the tackle right there. Bang, come on, get him. All right, Sims getting knocked out of bounds. Good job, good job. First and 10 now at the 42, at their own 42. Wilson steps back, and that should have been a fumble. I'm not, I'm not a, a referee, but that should have been a fumble. It's going to be second and 10. And they're throwing these short passes, man. That's, that's not going to give him any yards. Third and 10 now. Wilson tries to find a man, and it's out of bounds, but Burns was able to make the catch. It's going to be first and 10 for BYU now after the three and out. Hands off the session. Spin move, and he gets brought down. Only uh, I think he had a couple yards on that play. No, three yards. It's going to be second and seven. Johnson, option play here, and I couldn't pitch it because I had a player in the way, so I didn't want to force the fumble. It's going to be third and six. Johnson steps back, rolls out to his left, tries to find somebody, and he gets tackled. And now it's going to be three and out for us. It's going to be first and ten for Arizona. Hands off the horn, and John Joyce, our impact player. Let's go. Second and ten. Making some adjustments here. Play action, and I should have got that pick, but whatever. Burns makes the catch. And it's going to be a first and ten for Arizona at the 36. And Stop what is right Wilson there, doing? <laughs> he gets brought down. And that's going to do it for the end of the first quarter with the score 7 0. We're doing pretty well right now. Now we're going to start the second quarter. It's going to be second and 11. 
And Horn gets brought down behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and 14. Can they get the first down? Wilson tries to find someone, throws it deep, trying to get the touchdown, and it's going to be incomplete. Three and out for Arizona. It's going to be first and 10 for BYU at our own 20. Johnson has it. I should have ran up that hole there. Oh, wait, still good play. Good blocking up front. Session is gone, and he gets knocked out of bounds. He has 44 yards today and one touchdown. First and 10. Dallas steps back, Stop and that's a sack because no one wants to block. No one wants to block the court, uh, block to prevent that defender to get to the quarterback. Johnson steps back, rolls out to the left, and Whitworth makes the catch. Let's go. Good play by Dallas Johnson. Now, we are a pass-heavy team, you know, but, I mean, I'm going to make the best trying to run the ball some, you know. And it's going to be second and eight. Two-yard gain on that play. Johnson rolls out to the left, tries Stop to find right someone, there. and another sack, man. Ah, third and 15, man. We got to do better with this uh, offensive line. Johnson throws it downfield, and Whitworth couldn't make the catch. It's going to be three and out for BYU, first and 10 for Arizona at the 20. They're going to hand it off to Horn. Horn gets tackled. He gets met at the line of scrimmage. He makes, uh, He does get one yard, though, so it's going to be second and nine. Wilson, throw, short pass to Horn, and Horn, he gets a good gain. It's going to be third and one. Can they convert? Can they convert on third and one? They are zero and three right now when it comes to third down conversions. Play action. I don't know why they did this. What? He made a one-handed catch? I was trying to say, I don't know why they didn't run it, but they did pass on a play action. Fooled me because Sims make the catch. And they're going to go deep here, and they try to do a one-handed catch again. And he's looking for the defense pass interference. You just can't catch. It's going to be second and 10. <laughs> Interception. I don't know why he threw it right there. He threw it directly at John Joyce. Can he get a pick six? No, he cannot. That's his first pick of the game. And he already recorded three tackles so far this game as well. It's a good job for our impact defender here. And look, they give me the animation like I scored a touchdown. I didn't score a touchdown. <laughs> Well, only a minute and one second to go. It's going to be first and 10 at the 14. Hand up the session, and he is trapped behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second and 10. Option play. He has plenty of space, and Johnson breaks the tackle, but he couldn't get the first down. It's going to be third and two. With only 15 seconds to go in the second quarter. They're going to hand off the Session, and Session almost got the touchdown there. It's going to be first and go at the one, as we call a timeout. Hand it off the Session, and he gets met behind the line of scrimmage. We only have eight seconds to go and one timeout left. We got a score here. Hand off the Session, and he gets... And he, got, he can't go nowhere. And As we get ready to kick the field goal, it's an 18-yard field goal kick. The kick is up, great kick, and the kick is good. Good job for BYU to start this game 10-0, you know, just to end the first half. Arizona, they're not looking too good, man. They're not doing well on offense. They're doing short passes. They need to throw it out a little bit more, you know. First and 10 now for BYU to start off the second half. Johnson is going to head up the session, and he gets brought down. It's going to be second and 13. Play action. God, man, look at that. <laughs> a cornerback <laughs> blitz, man. A cornerback blitz to get that uh, quarterback, man. Third and 20. Johnson steps back, throws, and is picked off by Collins. And I tried to throw it deep somewhat, but I don't know why I threw it there. There were like four defenders, and now they're at the five. Yeah. This is their home game, so I'm surprised we're leading right now. So now it's going to be first and go out to five for Arizona. They go hand off to Wilson, and Wilson's trying to go for the end zone, and it's nearly picked off. You know, the quarterback's patting the wide receiver, saying, hey, you should have made that catch, but, you know, that was a bad throw. What are you talking about? Second and goal. Wilson play action again let's go let's see what he does here and that should have been picked as well third and goal 
Man, that should have been a pick. That would have been a pick six because of the simple fact that he threw it to two defenders trying to make something happen. And they're going to hand off to Sims that time. And Sims, he got nothing going right there. Fourth and goal. Good job for our defense. It's now Arizona set up for the field goal. And the kick is up, and the kick is good. But hold up, guys. There is a flag on the play. I think it is running into the kicker. Oh, no, it's offside. So regardless of which, then, you know, the field goal is still good. So, guys, it's going to be first and 10 for BYU. Can we capitalize after, you know, stopping them on... Third down. Okay, Sessions is gone. Why do I keep saying Session? It's Session. I keep messing that up. Excuse me, because I'm going to say that a lot throughout this video. So, first and 10 at the 43. Johnson steps back, throws it to Zach Bonet. Our impact player tries to juke, and he gets brought down. First down by BYU. We're at the 41 now. And Session does a spin move, gets stuck, and he's going to get brought down. It's going to be second and 11. Johnson. Oh, Morris is open. Oh, I I missed him. So I'm going to hand it off to Whitworth. You know, that was a bad play call by me because I saw him open at last minute, but I was like, Whitworth, he's coming across the middle. Might as well just dish it out to him. Johnson steps back and look at that blitz. We're going to go with the screenplay. Session has it. And he's going to juke and he's going to get in for six. Good job for our quarterback to call back uh, HB screen. Let's go. 14 yard touchdown pass. Look at that replay. See, look at that. They were blitzing. Look at my players. And as you can see, well, obviously it's going to look like they're blitzing uh, because blitzing we did a screenplay. Look at that. I like Session. He's a good player. You know, he's not the fastest running back I've ever played on this game, but, you know, he gets the job done. Now it's going to be first and 10 for Arizona at the 24. Wilson steps back. What is he doing? He's throwing these ridiculous passes. He's four for 12, well, four for 14 so far in this game. Second and 10, Wilson. And, okay, I can blame that one on the right receiver, the wide receiver, because, you know, you got to make the catch. So now it's going to be third down. They are one for five when it comes to third downs. They're going to hand off to Jackson, and Jackson gets brought down. Now they are one for six when it comes to third down conversions. It's going to be first and 10 for BYU. We're going to hand off to Miller, our fullback, and he gets brought down. A good game right there. It's going to be second and three. Johnson steps back, tries to find somebody, and I need to stop moving outside the pocket because that's going to keep happening. It's going to be third and three. Option play here. And I tried to pitch it out the session, but, you know, I couldn't do it. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter with the score 17-3. We're doing a pretty good job here to start off our first game of the Dynasty. Now we're going to start off the fourth quarter as Arizona gets the ball to start it off. They're at the 24. And Williams with the interceptions. What the heck is Wilson doing out there? You're an impact quarterback. You should be benched. <laughs> it's going to be first and 10. We're at the 20 now, guys. Play action. Let's see who we got here. Whitworth. And he couldn't make the catch. Overthrew it. Second and 10 now. Johnson. Option play here. Can he get the first down? No, we're going to have the session. And he's going to get brought down. Session has 76 yard in this game. Man, we're not good on third down conversions either. We're one for five. Now we're one for six. We're the same as Arizona right now. Man. As we get set up for the field goal, a 32-yard field goal kick. And the kick is up. And the kick is good. So now it's going to be first and 10 for Arizona. Can they come back in this one with only 2 minutes and 50 seconds left? No, they cannot. <laughs> what kind of pass was that? You got to throw it to him. Second and 10, Wilson. And he gets, you know, he gets brought down. Incomplete pass. Third and 10. Wilson, come on. What do you got going? And that's probably his best throw of the game as they throw it to Jackson. And it's, are they going to rush the offense here? Okay. They're going to be spotted at the 50. With only two minutes and 30 seconds left. Play action. 
throws and good catch by Sims. Now in the fourth quarter, this guy is starting to step up a little bit. Making adjustments here, second and seven. Throws. Okay, now he's throwing passes to his wide receivers. Okay, where was this energy in the first half? All right, Wilson steps back, throws across the middle. And John Joyce is able to break that up. Good job for him, man. I'm going to use him a lot. That's why I'm, I'm mainly using throughout uh, my dynasty, just the middle linebacker position. Now it's going to be fourth and ten. They need this in order to continue. Let's see. And Wilson gets brought down. Man, he should just threw it up and just set whatever. Raise the roof right there. Okay. <laughs> These animations are crazy. Anyway, guys, it's going to be first and ten. As we are planning to run out the clock, we're going to have the session. As session gets brought down, it's going to be second and eight. Session again. He gets met behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and ten. We're one for six on third downs. We need to do better in our next game. Option play, hand off the session, and he gets brought down again. It's going to be fourth and ten. But, you know, I don't do fourth downs. We're going to go three and out. It's going to be a first and ten for Arizona. And he almost threw a pick, man. Wilson's not doing so well this game. He's really not. Like, I don't know how he's starting right now. I don't know why they still have him in the game. Look, look at this. Interceptions. <laughs> With only 50 seconds to go. Cross was able to get his first interception of the dynasty. Let's go. Man, oh man, I don't know why the coach didn't take out Wilson. You would think that if a quarterback's doing that bad, like incomplete pass and all that, you know, they would just kick him out. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the game with a score 20 to 3. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the lag on lock player of the game. So as you can see, guys, we have Nate Session, our senior redshirt halfback, who had 18 carries for 75 yards, a touchdown, 14 receiving yards, and a touchdown. He had an amazing game today. I just wish I gave it to him more. Let's whatever. So guys, that's going to do it for this one. We defeated Arizona Wildcats 22-3. When it comes to first downs, we had 10. They had 4. Total offense, we had 219. They had 89. We rushed 27 times. They got 97 yards. They rushed 8 times. They got 23 yards. When it comes to passing, we were 5 for 11, and we scored a touchdown. They were 8 for 25. We had 122 passing yards. They had 66. We got sacked three times, but we were able to get to their quarterback one time. And third down conversions, we were 1 for 7. Pretty bad, but I'm surprised we still won, and they were 2 for 8. We were in the red zone four times, scoring two touchdowns and two field goals. Arizona only got a field goal out of there one time in the red zone. We had one turnover. Uh, Arizona had three. We threw one pick, and then Arizona threw three picks. Total yards, we had 256. They had 189. In terms of time of possession, we had 10-13. They had 547. So we held the ball for a very long time, man. That's crazy. I never... Uh, half possession of the ball for that long. Now guys, taking a look at individual stats. Number 12, Dallas Johnson, our offensive captain. He had a 150 QB rating. He had five completions out of 11 attempts for 122 yards, one touchdown, one interception, and a 45 completion percentage. Moving over to rushing, number six, Nate Sessions had 75 yards today, averaging four 4.1 and he scored one touchdown when it comes to receiving number three David Whitworth had two receptions for 46 Gabe Thomas had one reception for 46 Zach Bonet our impact player had one reception for 16 and Nate Sessions had one reception for 14. And as you see, Nate Sessions was the only one to score a receiving touchdown. Taking a look at our defense, number 35, John Joyce led our team in tackles with three. In terms of tackles for loss, we have Kenny Gold, uh, Dennis Rutledge, and we have Dane McKinley. All those guys recorded one tackle for loss. The only person to get a sack on our team today was Dennis Rutledge. He is a freshman uh, red shirt, so that was pretty good for him. Taking a look at interceptions, we got Joe Cross, the junior red shirt free safety. He got a pick today. And then we got Jake Williams. He also got a pick. 
And then John Joyce got uh, got an interception today as well. When it comes to kicking, number 30, Robert Clark made two field goals today out of two attempts, going 100%. And his longest kick was 33 yards. So now guys, taking a look at the NCAA players of the week for week two, we have number 24, Mitchell, the sophomore halfback out of North Carolina State. As they defeated App State 59-7, he had 30 carries for 211 yards, four touchdowns, and he also had one receiving touchdown. Defensively, we have number 50, Thomas, the junior redshirt middle linebacker from Ohio. As they defeated UTM, 30 to 17. He had 10 tackles, two of those tackles for loss, a sack of two forced fumbles, and a fumble recovery. So now guys, taking a look at the Mountain West players of the week. On offense, we have number five, Stucky, the senior red shirt halfback from UNLV. As they defeated uh, Idaho State, or Indi I forgot what, I think it's Idaho State. Uh, they beat them 37 to six. He had 34 carries for 241 yards and three touchdowns. And then defensively, we have number three, Skinner, a senior redshirt cornerback out of Wyoming. As they defeated Utah State 37-20, he had two tackles, two interceptions, and two fumble recoveries. So in the next video, guys, we'll be playing against the Tulsa Golden Hurricane, who are 1-0 so far this year. They have a B overall, a B minus offense, and a B minus defense. So if you like this video and you would like to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing down in the comment section below. That helps me out a lot when making videos. And as always, take care.